So Travis and I just had a mom and dad dinner out and we had steak and I had the biggest shrimp I've ever had in my whole entire life. Get the door unlocked and then we're going refrigerator shopping. Super excited to look at all those refrigerators. Travis already found, we found some online, but of course it's funner to see them in the store. So the refrigerator that Travis is interested in trying to find for us is one that has, of course, the ice maker and the water filter in the door, but um, yeah, it has it in the door so you don't have like the bulky box that takes up space in the refrigerator. It's all in the door. And I'm also looking for one that's stainless steel because I would like to go through, of course, I want a whole new kitchen. I mean, who doesn't want a whole new kitchen? But I'm thinking that's lower down on our list right now with all our other things we need to do. So I'm just gonna go through and work on upgrading the appliances at the moment. Three years from now on YouTube, I'll be talking about how I want a new kitchen and we still won't be there yet. That's how this goes, right? But in the meantime, I'm gonna work on upgrading the appliances because even when and if that new kitchen comes about, uh, we can still use the updated appliances in it. And in the meantime, it's nice and all of that. Trimmer wire is first on our list. Travis is getting that now. I need a paper shredder. I need some other things besides a refrigerator this evening. We will see how far we get. Now I want some more of these chairs. Our red Anirondacks, I know they're just plastic, but they're only like $17. Our red ones have made it. Our teal ones, as I say, went to go be with Jesus. So I need a few more of those. Wonder if I could get those to deliver with the refrigerator, we shall see. Right now we're in the lighting section, if you can't tell, because it's all uh, lit up. And we're looking at maybe adding lights to our kitchen so that when I do cooking videos and everything, we, we have better lighting. So we're looking at all kinds of light bar, light LED lighting ideas here. So here, oh, if that even shows up, all kinds of lighting ideas. Part of those that is not that interesting to me, it's like tools and, uh, metal not as fun as kitchens and refrigerators now this is more like it beautiful organizational items got some big chest freezers that one's 269 i just don't go for these because uh, i don't have room for the length this one's 599 i think this is similar to the size we have yeah might that might be a little smaller it's 20 i think mine was maybe 22 Maybe it was 20. Lots of good freezers here though. This is not what Travis wants. He doesn't want it to be sticking out like that and just take up a ton of room. It's not a ton, okay, over exaggeration, but take up any precious room in the refrigerator. This one's $1,000 off right now. He's showing me the one that he is interested in, so okay, refrigerator talk. Okay, that's that's it, huh? So you still get all this yeah, very nice. Oh, and so this one has, oh my, like all the bins. It, it feels small to me. I don't know why. Ooh, this one is super fancy. Wood grain, I don't know that I've ever seen that before. But yeah, everything's in the door. That one's $39.59. This is like a car. <laughs> very nice. I don't know that I like the wood, but overall it's very nice. I guess it'd be something you have to get used to, but look on the outside, it's like a charcoal color. KitchenAid, very nice, let's see. I just keep saying very nice, very nice. I don't feel like that. that's probably something blocking it, it's not opening all the way. I think this is just like, I don't know, another drawer. Yogurt drawer, kind of in the middle. This one has it in the door though. That one's $15.99. And then that opens more. This is like the refrigerator we had with the freezer on the bottom. This one's 28 cubic feet. And I don't know if you can choose to make this drawer either part of the refrigerator or the freezer. I think this one's part of the freezer. This one also has the ice maker in the door. If I can find my finger there. And it's uh, $16.49. Ice maker in the door, just like how it wants. Did you get all this room? Yeah, you do have some more room there. I think most of them we're finding is the LG brand. I'm trying to make sure we don't get like 
you know all the finger smudges. So here's the outside, the ice maker, and then inside it has it in the door. So there we go, and it's marked down from $25.99 to $18.99. So here's a Whirlpool brand. I like these multiple drawers. That's fun. I have one just dedicated for cheese slices or whatever. And I would just totally use this for yogurt. Two ice makers for twice the ice, huh? That's a thing. Always have enough ice with a second ice maker. So I guess it makes I, oh, I'm gonna read. Second ice maker in the freezer, wow. So this one is 26.8. It's a Frigidaire brand, oh, that, Want want. It doesn't pass the test. That's the first test. Does it pass the test? It says plenty of ice in the door. 27. 27.8. That's good. Yeah. Nice. That other one over there that was 29, it had like a double door thing here. It had two layers. So, like good. behind this one, you'd have your condiments. This one has LED lighting. Mm. I know LED is a big thing. We are definitely checking them all out. So this would be like the white one we had only without the water filter in the door. Okay, so this is like the Mac Daddy. Oh, but it's only 22.7 cubic feet. Does that matter? Wow. But this one has, so you have layers. It has pretty pictures inside. Oh, easy reach. Okay. Oh, for that. for that. Select the temperature for this drawer. So it could be many different things. Okay. And then easy reach for something. Does not look like enough room for anything really though that we'd be reaching for easily. Can't fit. Okay, and there we go. There's another pull-out drawer. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how useful that little one would be. I like that little door. I don't like um, some of the other things about it though. Well, you don't have to open the whole fridge to get to it. Right. We're in another one now. This one is only 22 cubic feet. It's, it looks fancy. It just doesn't feel, feel as big. So you could section it off how you'd want it. That one's 24 and that's for 27 cubic feet. And does it have the right ice maker? Oh, door. yeah, it does, okay. I see that. No, it does not. It does not. Okay, so I'm back here. I think this is the one that, uh, it's the largest one, 29.6 cubic feet, and it's $1,200 off, it says. Okay, so here's the outside of the ice maker. And it has the ice in the door thing that Travis wants. And yeah, this has, um, when you press the button, it opens. So, I guess that's how if you put milk in the door, how you get it out. You have to push this little button on the outside though. <laughs> that, and that's how we'd use it. I don't know it. how long it would last. That's what I'm wondering, how durable would it really be? Because all the kids close the door. Sure, sure. Me too. Okay, so I opened the freezer back up here and uh, just trying to picture myself using it. So it's got this little drawer, but then it has this drawer. Huh. Wonder if that's another ice maker thing too. Okay, this might be helpful. Door alarm and lock. Haha. -ha. So when you have little kids that get in and just pull stuff out while they're learning their refrigerator skills, uh, yeah. They could get fruit off the counter and that's it till mama says. Still in deep contemplation here and it says it fits a 33 inch wide opening. I was telling Travis it doesn't feel very big but we think maybe that's because it's deeper. Maybe that is it because some of the other ones seem to be not as deep. And then of course by getting the new refrigerator for the kitchen, I'll move the kitchen refrigerator to the garage and I will be back to having three refrigerators and a full freezer but I might as well upgrade the kitchen and uh, get that one fresh for everyday use. So this is where I'm confused. Now this Whirlpool is 19 dollars 
but it may just have the tags mixed up or something because this is the same one I feel like it's the same one I just stood and looked at in the other aisle they must have it oh, stickers in the wrong place because I looked at this one earlier but if it's really $13.99 then sure that sounds like a great deal I'm now going through comparing model numbers so this one is a false alarm. We're back looking at the original refrigerator that Travis liked. It's the biggest one they have here, 29.6 cubic feet. Has the ice maker in the door and it is $1,200 off. The one for $1,300 is, uh, we don't think it's gonna fit under our cabinet and they'd have to order it. So this one here, they have in the store and they they can deliver it day after tomorrow. And again, ice maker, happiness. I'm going to the restaurant depot next week. So I'd like to have a third refrigerator before I do that. Okay, so we're going to pay for the refrigerator. And now look at those double ovens. You all know I need it. They're gonna come on Sunday, another gentleman, whenever they deliver the refrigerator and look at the kitchen and give me ideas and give me quotes so I at least know what I'm dealing with. Now we're gonna go over and look at sinks because I'd love a farmhouse sink if I could get one. I had to stop at dishwashers first. You all let me know what dishwasher you use. These are kitchen aids. There's apron sink and I like the big faucet heads. Now we're looking at that big one up there with the spray faucet. It comes with the faucet. We have had our new refrigerator for a little over a week now, so we've been getting lots of good use out of it. I have not done like a real large family grocery haul with it yet, but that is a coming. So here it is behind me. What do you think about that? Are you going to be shy now? Say hello, friends. Ooh. Benjamin has been getting some more top teeth along the sides. Mmm, mm, yes, it's been a lot happening in your mouth. Okay, guys, so here it is. It fit in here just perfectly. And it has, let's see here. Let me touch, touch the sides here. Oh, come on, do it for me. There we go. So we can see the refrigerator temperature, freezer temperature. It's got an air freshener in there. It's got an ice maker down here in the freezer part and uh, cubed ice, little water. The water comes out the top here. And so then the feature that I really liked, it's got this little door so we can reach in for milk. And I got almond milk and heavy cream and some sugar-free coffee uh, sweetener and stuff some jelly up top nothing in these drawers as of yet I'm sure they will get something here in them shortly and then I love 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 did not even realize this about it but uh, I love the LED lights it's like they twinkle like stars so we are officially back to being a three refrigerator and a full-size freezer family of course my little doors are gonna steam up now but uh anyway so in this door I've got like my zero noodles and my Kerrygold butter and those items over here if you push let's see if I can do it there we go that's how you can access items in the door and then up here I've got my uh, like triple zero Greek yogurts and cottage cheeses and such. We had Gabriel's birthday last night. Oh, Benjamin's grabbing onto the doors too. Yeah, you'll be, you, oh, woo woo. Leftover tray from Gabriel's birthday party the other night. We're still working on, got some bacon defrosted, some leftover biscuits, and all kinds of things going on. So what I've done so far with these bins is I've actually used this drawer to this point with the one whole week. I've just used it for fresh fruit to have it nice and cold. I know not everyone keeps their fruit in the refrigerator. I just like cold apples and cold clementines. You're gonna get some extra rocking because of <laughs> little sweetie arm here. And then over here we have a meat and cheese drawer. In the middle, I've got some avocados and zucchini. And then here, I need to refill it with some more easily accessible yogurt for the kids. So, yes, this is our brand new to us. Well, brand new, it is not just to us, it is really a brand new refrigerator. And down here in the freezer, we have with our three layers. So up top here, I've got like some more of my twice baked potatoes for my freezer cooking day in April. We've got fruit for smoothies, some vegetables, 
And then in here, some biscuits that are left from the restaurant supply store and some emergency ice packs. You know, we get bee stings and little walkers learning to walk that need ice packs for things. Down here, I've got bacon. Bacon and popsicles, that's all we need for summer. We're set. Thank you for refrigerator shopping with us. We still, because we are true country folk, my kitchen refrigerator is on the back deck. Dad, until, dad, 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 until Travis is done fixing his truck dad, in the garage, dad, dad, dad. then we can make some more room and get that in there. So that's our little country song. We got refrigerator on the deck, truck in the shop, yeehaw. Thank you all for watching. Got. I got more stuff coming out. Keep on watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.